What's going on guys? It's your boy CJ Ball. I have a awesome, awesome build for the hammers with me right here. It's very, very solid. I've been using it. I've been having a blast with it. It's been so much fun just using it. So basically we're going to be using the rage hammer. This build is specifically for this is like, well, you can use other, other, um, rage weapons with it, but it's all about distant damage with it. So we're going to be using, we're going to be using the, the rage hammer and we're going to focus on rage hunter, rage, rage cell. And then we're going to focus on last one is going to be, I mean, the last one's going to be knockout king. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be distant. We're going to be, our, we're going to be a frontliner. We're going to try to knock it. We're going to try to dish out as much damage as we can with our knockout king and our rate and our rage hunter, whenever it goes rage. And then whenever we get low, we'll be able to swing more damage at it while we're low. And that's pretty much that's pretty much the build. It's pretty much straightforward. It deal it deals a really decent amount of damage. I've been using it to farm for the Dark Harvest event. It for like the past five or six runs. And I'm having like a great time with it. I actually really, really do like it. And I I have never thought I would actually enjoy using a rage style build. Was a, a rage hunter style build rather than just a normal rage build but it's really really dope and i enjoy it so let me know what you think so this build is basically basically what we're gonna have is we're gonna have plus three rage cell on the hammer and then we're gonna have plus two stunning uh, plus two stunning cell on it the stunning cell is gonna be giving it's gonna give us health whenever we knock it down that's just a plus whenever we stagger it because we're gonna try to stagger it as much as possible with the damage that we deal and then we're going to we're going to have the Drass Lantern. The Drass Lantern, it's instant cast, gives you a forty percent increase in damage, but it's only for six seconds. And then you're going to be using your shock whenever it's up. Whenever your shock's up, just shock the beam. That's it deals two hundred damage. I think it's multiple. Uh, I think it's multiplied over. Was it damage multiplied times as it passes through a behemoth? Yeah. Well, it gives you a little bit of extra damage, as like a little bit of extra poke. So, from there, we're gonna have the Frostback. The Frostback's gonna let us have our, it's gonna let us get plus five Knockout King on it, cause we're gonna throw a plus three cell on it and it comes with plus two already. And then we're gonna go with the Shroud Helmet. The Shroud Helmet is gonna, is gonna give us one rage and then we're gonna get a plus two rage, put a plus three rage on there. The Rage Tail Rips. Are gonna be are gonna give us it's gonna give us the other two rage hunter it's also gonna have the knockout the knockout king cell on it we're gonna have two knockout king cell and then we're gonna have the rage hunter cell on the rage tail shoes rage tail boots and we're gonna put two on there it comes with one so i'll give you a total of three the full overview of the build is plus six rage we're gonna have two medic that's okay. Whenever your allies are down, you can pick them up just a little bit faster. Not too much faster, but just a little bit faster. Well, you're gonna give them a little bit more health. I think the when it's plus six, it's actually a little faster. But we're gonna have the we're gonna have six on the knockout king. I know it says seven, but you don't get anything past that six. And the knockout king is gonna give us thirty percent stagger damage after rolling through an attack, and it's gonna increase our stagger damage by hundred. So after we'll do an attack, we're gonna get the 100 percent And that's just solid. We're gonna bank off that right there. Our fortress gives us 10 health shield. It's okay. It mitigates a little bit of damage. It's not gonna be a big deal, but it, it may save you maybe a little bit. I haven't had too many saves from it. But um it does reduce damage, and damage reduction is always great. So rage hunter, 50% damage increase against an enraged behemoth. That's what we're gonna be banking on, and that's where the that's where the money is. Especially when you're fighting like Rage Tail, I fought him like a bajillion times today, and it will definitely help you a ton. So it gives you plus two bloodless, which is was a reduced duration of wound status by eighty percent. That's, that's that's great. Gives you toughness. Toughness will give you five hundred, uh, not five hundred, fifty health. That's that's great in its own. And then you have Stunning Vigor plus five. Stunning Vigor will give you health. It will give you. Health, 150 health whenever you whenever you stagger that bad boy. That's really, really solid. And then we have we have pacifier, which gives us 20% stagger damage 
versus Enraged Behemoth. That is just extra, extra stagger damage. It's a really solid build. I love it. I, I enjoy wearing this build, and I know a lot of people are actually using Rage. And then I think, I, was it Rage and Knockout King to me? It's a very, very good pair. And then I think you can you can pair it with a, was it Rage? And Rage is also good. So it's a dope build. Let me know what you think. I'll check you guys later. I really have to make that one. I have to make it. I have to make it off the ligger. Can we get enough to stagger? Ugh. Your boy made it. Your boy made it through. We just got to go with a. We just have to go with normal combo. We're gonna take that. Ugh. Ugh. Get the extra damage and do as much as we can with it. Ugh. Oh, we goofed it. We need it. We need another one. We needed another one. We need another one. Oh, no. You got it. Dog. Woo. Your boy. We did it. We did it. Oh, man. Let's go. We did it. Man.